The temperature is rising in the hall in Herning, where hosts Denmark meet Montenegro in the final match of the day. Montenegro had a mountain to climb tonight as they needed to beat the undefeated hosts and even though Denmark had already won the group, they were in no mood to lose in front of their own crowd. Spurred on by the spectators, Denmark were quicker out of the blocks and built an early lead of 6-1. But led by world star Bojana Popovic, who is quite familiar with playing in Denmark, Montenegro managed to steady their ship and trailed by four goals at halftime, 18-14. In the first 15 minutes of the second half, they ran riot and gained a two-goal lead, 22 to 20. And for the rest of the match, they led by one to two goals, finally reaching the summit, winning by one, 30 to 29, securing the third place in Group 1 and a match for the fifth place against France. We are so happy we played a good game for us. It was important to play a good game with Denmark in uh, this hall and uh, show them that we can play handball. Mm -hmm. uh, we are from Balkan and uh, we showed today that we can run f uh, in the attack and we can mm -hmm. run back. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are so happy because we stopped Danish contra and we went uh, today. Mm -hmm. Difficult to play against the Danish team and the Danish spectators? No, it's not difficult. It's so good to play in this hall. Uh, and uh, we, we are so happy because we get the chance to play in, uh, mm -hmm. in front of 12,000 mm -hmm. people. Your first loss, uh, are you disappointed? Yes, of course. I hate to lose in every game. If it's uh, backgammon or everything, I just hate to lose. So, uh, of course, I'm disappointed. So, uh, this, uh, well, you're already to the uh, group winners and, and through to the semis. Does that, uh, did that have a big factor, or was that a big factor in this game? Uh, I hope not. Uh, I think we met a very good player in Bojana Povic mm -hmm. today, and we haven't met a player like that in uh, this uh, tournament. And maybe we um, underestimated her a little bit because she, uh, she was on her job today, and uh, we was not ready to uh, tackle her or anything. But you have a big game coming up uh, next Saturday. Will you be ready for that? Yes, of course. But uh, tonight uh, we have to be a little disappointed and it's okay to uh, think about this game and learn from it and then tomorrow we're ready to focus on the, the game set thing. Uh, you had a big shock, uh, a key player uh, injured before this match. Uh, uh, is that a big loss for you? Yes, of course. Uh, Mia has played a very good tournament, mm. and, uh, but of course we have a good uh, assistant in uh, mm. Gret Nørgo and now in uh, Gideon. Own. But uh, Mia is a very good player and uh, good in the defense and all over, so of course it's a big loss.